everybody, it's John Henry's how to I'm going to show you how to make the best Persian kabob kubi there, which is of course my signature dish. Let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so I'm going to do my recipe based on one kilo of lamb mince. Now for every kilo, you'll need one brown onion, so just a medium sized one. So if you're doing five kilos, you need five onions. So guys, we're going to get a small bowl, and you want to put a strainer into it. Now I make so much kubi there, you can see the handle's broken off this. But you know what, I don't care, I like it like this. Then we'll just need a grater. Now alternatively, you can put the onion into a food processor, then strain it out after if you want, but this way is easier. Put your grater in there, get your onion, and we're just going to grate it. Okay, so that's our onion done. Make sure to get all of it out of your grater, we don't want to waste all that. And all we're going to do is just squeeze and get all that excess juice out. And just look how much is coming out. Now don't go throwing that out, you can use it as a marinade, you can add it to a sauce. Don't go drinking it straight, because you're gonna get bloated very badly. And trust me, I learned that the hard way. So just squeeze that as much as you can. Doesn't have to be 100%, but about 90% as much as you possibly can. Okay, so we'll just take that out. I'm gonna pour this juice into another bowl. We'll bring that back, add our grated onion to the bowl. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is season this based on one kilo. So once again, guys, if you're doing a bigger quantity for five kilos, multiply it all by five. So we'll start with one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of ground turmeric, now the turmeric isn't just for flavour, it will actually get rid of that gaminess from the lamb too, because I know a lot of people don't like the taste of lamb. Next we'll add one teaspoon of red sumac, and finally we'll add one tablespoon of saffron water. So that's just saffron dissolved in boiling water. And give this a good mix, get that water combined. So guys, what we're going to do is put this into the fridge as it is for 30 minutes, and I'll tell you why. The onion itself is pretty much a gas. If we add this to a mince now and we wrap it, it's gonna smell like gas. It's gonna smell almost like it's off. We don't wanna do that. If we leave it uncovered in the fridge for about 30 minutes, all that gassiness will come out and it'll be much milder. So guys, as I mentioned, I'm doing my recipe based on one kilo of lamb mince. So I've got an 80-20 mix here, 80% meat to 20% fat. The fat is very important in this. If you use something that's very lean, it's not going to taste that good. So guys, what we're going to do is get our onion mixture from before, add that straight in, get it all out. And all we're going to do is mix this all together. And you need to act like you're kneading dough. This needs to be mixed very well. Just make sure you're squeezing it. So pretty much you need to keep mixing until, as you can see, it's nice and sticky like that. So that's very important. If it falls apart, it's going to fall off the skewer when we go to cook it. And that's one of the most common complaints I get from people, is how to stop it from falling off the skewer. So guys, in saying that, if you find that your mince isn't nice and sticky like that, there is a trick you can do. Get some baking soda. You just want to put about a quarter teaspoon to half a teaspoon into your meat and just keep on mixing. The baking soda, in a way, will tenderize the meat. But if you're doing that, make sure you use your mince. Try to use it on the same day, if not the next day, or else eventually it will start to dry your meat out. Alright, so all we're going to do is cover this with some cling wrap. We're going to place this into the fridge for about four hours. So at the moment, it's just in the afternoon. I want to use this tonight. If not, you can use it the next day, even better. All right guys, so in my case, I'm gonna put them on my wide noodle skewers like so, and we're gonna place these on my mangal and grill them like that. Obviously, you can do this on charcoal too. If you don't have skewers like this and you don't have a grill, you can put these in the frying pan, you can make burgers with it, you can make meatballs with it. You can do anything you like with it. The flavor is there. Now, if you're doing it my way, the traditional way, first thing we'll do is get a thinner skewer. We'll get one tomato, we'll skewer the tomato, or however many tomatoes you want, usually one per plate, and we'll grill this first because this takes longer. 
So now to actually do our skewers, we've got our mince here, and just in a small bowl here, I've got some warm water. Hot enough that you can actually touch it, so don't go boiling hot. And guys, very, very simple. I'll do this in two angles so you guys can see. We'll dip our hand in the warm water, and you want to grab about a tennis ball size of our mixture, just like that. And just against the ball, we're going to roll it into a nice, smooth spear. Then we'll get one of our skewers. Now you want to squeeze this, just like that, almost into a sausage shape. And we'll just push onto our skewer like that. And from the top, you'll want to put a lot of pressure on your thumb. You want to push down, just like that. Flip it over, put your hand back in the warm water, repeat on this side. Just like that. Flip it over again, warm water again. Once again, from the top, right from the top so it locks. Push it all the way down. Just like that. Then we'll make sure the top and the bottom are nice and secure. And there we go. So we just want to keep repeating that. So I'll show you guys on a different angle now so you can get a better look. So warm water. I guess it will be a bit less than a tennis ball actually. So nice smooth shape all over. And then into a sausage shape. Then we'll grab our skewer. And you want to push it so the middle goes onto the skewer like that. And then from the top using your thumb, push all the way down. Back in the warm water, flip it over, repeat. Flip it over, warm water, repeat. Take that bottom excess off, make sure it's nice and secure, and same with the top, make sure it's nice and secure. There we go. So guys, if you can't do this pattern, don't stress, it took me a lot of experience to get there. Plus you gotta remember, I've been doing this for about 15 years now, hundreds and hundreds of skewers every week, so it's a lot of practice. Alright guys, so as you can see, our tomato is pretty much 50% cooked, which is what we want. By the time we finish cooking our skewers, it will all be ready. So we'll set that just there so we have a bit more space. And I'm also going to add in a chilli as well, but the chilli cooks very fast. We just needed to char a bit, so we'll add that towards the end. Alright, and we'll place our skewers straight on. So I'm cooking on a medium to high heat. Alright, now this is very important. At the 30 second mark, flip your skewers. This will seal it and that will lessen the likelihood of it actually falling off the skewer. If you just leave it like that, it's eventually going to fall off. After another 30 seconds, we'll flip our skewers back. Now both sides are sealed, the chance of it falling off is pretty much zero. So we'll just leave it. Every 30 seconds we're going to flip it until it's cooked all the way through. This will take only about 3-4 to four minutes. Okay, so our tomato is looking very good at this point, we'll set that to the side. And we'll put our chili on now. Alright guys, that's looking perfect. And our chili is nice and charred. Let's go ahead and serve. Alright guys, so I've got our rice here. So that's just some basmati rice cooked Persian style. That's the first thing we'll add to our plate. If you want to see how to make this, I'll leave the link in the description for it. Now we'll leave a little bit of it. Because we're going to add some saffron water to it. So we'll add about two tablespoons worth, mix that together nicely. Because once again, that's just crushed saffron, a little bit of sugar, and boiling water. We'll add that straight on top. Next we'll grab our kubide skewers. At the top you want to push down to release it, and from the bottom push all the way up. Once again from the top push down, from the bottom release it all the way up. Next we'll add our tomato. Next we'll add our chili. What we're gonna do next is add some smelted saffron butter on top. Now don't just get the meat, get a little bit on your vegetables too. And we'll finish this off with some onion rings that have been dusted with red sumac. Some fresh mint which also aids digestion. 
and some red radish. Okay, and there we have it guys, my signature dish. No secrets at all. That's exactly how I make it here. Absolutely amazing. Sorry about that, I got distracted and just started eating away at that. It's really that good, believe me. As always guys, please make sure to like, share, subscribe and turn on your post notifications. You can also follow me on Facebook, Snapchat and Instagram. I'll see you all next time.